Budget 2016 remains a big disappointment, and so are some of the answers given in QP this week. Agreed. Let's review. Yesterday, our member from Calgary West asked the Municipal Affairs Minister about a petition from the people of Chestermere. The Minister said she respects their autonomy at the municipality and promised to send a note to the petitioners. What they really want to know is once the petition is verified, will the Minister launch an investigation and commit to making the results of that investigation public? Minister of Municipal Affairs. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. And I would like to clarify that what I said, the process was that after reviewing all the signatures to the petition and determining whether the petition was sufficient or not, that I would send a letter uh, in response to, to the petition uh, uh, to the people who initiated it. And at that point, if it is indeed sufficient, then we will uh, you know, proceed with normal process and do the investigation upon request. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The finance minister in question period yesterday said in Hansard, and I quote, the three-year fiscal plan we talked about has an accumulated debt limit there, unquote. The same minister sponsored Bill 10 removing that debt limit. Let's give the minister a second chance to correct the record. Here's a chance to clear it up, minister. Did you not know your file or did you just plain give the wrong answer yesterday? Government House Leader. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Speaker, and on behalf of the Minister of Finance, uh, I can assure the Honourable Member that our Minister of Finance uh, knows the files. He has produced one of the best budgets in some of the most difficult economic conditions we have ever seen. I don't know what he said. I couldn't hear it. The Wrong answer it is. Second the insider minister yesterday said a couple with children earning $95,000 receives 420 in carbon tax rebates. Page 95 of the budget says rebates are only on natural gas and gasoline. Since $95,000 yields $50,000 take-home pay and gasoline and natural gas can only cost $10,000 a year, then $40,000 of that family's take-home pay is not protected by the rebate. Now that we know how little of a family ho family's take-home pay is protected, how can the Premier say that she has anybody's back? Mr. Environment and Parks. Well, thank you, Mr. Speaker. And, uh, so uh, we'll just go back to basics on this one. I think we might need a little remedial budget uh, time here. Putting a price on carbon pollution rewards Alberta families, businesses and communities that make choices to reduce their emissions. Uh, six in ten Alberta households will receive a rebate that covers the average cost of the carbon levy they pay. Low-income consumers, including many seniors, typically use uh, less energy than average, meaning their rebate could more than cover the carbon costs they pay, resulting in more money in their pockets. All Albertans who reduce their emissions uh, uh, will also reduce their actual cost below the average. Add that Thank to the you, tax Honourable savings Minister. on the